Hey, what's up everybody? So, it's Sunday. I told you guys that I would be filming one video a week. Um, so, I'm doing this video today on shoulder impingement. I got a couple of messages about that. And what that is, is just impingement in the front of the shoulder. A lot of people were experiencing a pinching uh, pain when doing certain ranges of motion. They don't necessarily experience any weakness um, or decrease in strength, but just something going on in the front of the shoulder. So typically, when people uh, go to different facilities or therapists, they wanna attack the front of the shoulder and open up those tissues and those structures in the front. But today we're gonna go after it a little different. And I want to go after the structures that are inferior, which are underneath the shoulder capsule. Because what happens is sometimes, even though you're experiencing pain uh, from the in the front of the shoulder, doesn't mean that that's exactly where it's coming from. It's good to work those structures and to open everything up, but it's probably coming from someone somewhere else. So the way it works is that when you have the shoulder joint, if this the structures on the bottom or the inferior structures are tight or um, cre are creating tension somewhere, it kind of pushes everything up to the top and so you get that banging or that pinchy feeling and it doesn't allow for that gapping that that joint is supposed to do. So you want to get that to open up so everything is free to move up and down as opposed to these structures just kind of just jamming it up top. And then you get that pinching feeling or that impingement feeling. So we're going to go after some of the muscles. You can do tissue work. I'm going to do... Um, you can use a foam roller in replace of this. You can use a towel. So the first stretch that we're going to do is you're just going to take the towel and bring it over, whichever side is impinged. And oops, I'm just going to bring it back here. All right, try to lift it up. And open. as you can and you can do both sides it, it's not gonna hurt the next and you want to do that for about two minutes the next thing that you're going to do is foam roll we want to get that serratus anterior we want to get some of Terry's major or minor if we can but you're gonna lie on your side open here go right underneath where that meat is where your lap would be and just go into those different structures there and you're gonna take a deep breath let it sink in roll up and down Okay, you can even play with bringing your head, your hand over and kind of rolling side to side. If you can go flat. And again, I always like to do stuff with movement. So if you can, so you can see what I'm doing, go right where that lap might be a little off to the side and bring your arm back you can go thumb down as if you're going into extension come up and wherever you feel reach protract Wherever you feel tenderness, you can hang out there, uh, take a deep breath, let it sink in, and then play around with different areas. But the goal is to get 
into this meaty part all in here, okay? Up and down, up and down. Now, the next one we're gonna do is the, we're gonna try to get at the rhomboids, okay? You can actually go um, on the door. I did this in another video, but you wanna really stretch and reach out. And if you were doing this on a door, you could tie a band there and let the band pull you, okay? And hold that for about two minutes. Um, that was three. The other one, and I've, I did another video on this, you can get in the subscap. That's a little bit more aggressive. It's, it's not an easy thing to get to, but you can take a, um, a pole or you can try releasing it in here, and just kind of digging in there yourself. But again, and almost as if you're doing a shoulder press, but you want to be careful when you're doing that because there's a lot of nerves and structures in here. So you have to be careful when you're doing it. You can stick your finger in there if you want. If you had a stick or something, you can dig it right in your arm. You know, when I'm working on people, I can stick my fist in their armpit and then I have them go through the ranges of motion. We've done cars for the shoulders. And so that's something that you should incorporate every morning. Um, the full body cars because you want to move your joints through the full range of motion your full excursion and you know just let your joints know that they can move like joints okay and the reason for doing this the reason why we do cars is because that is going to prevent injury and it's going to wake your nervous system up and make it aware of all the ranges of motion around each cap in the capsule of the joint. The reason why people get hurt is because they go into a position or a range of motion that the joint or the tissues can't handle, the load, it can't handle the force brought upon it. Tissues speak, the language that they speak is force or load, okay? Um, so you want to, continuously put your body into these ranges of motion so that if you do, okay, okay, go into a range that you necessarily don't use. And for example, it would be this, right? We don't walk around like this. A lot of the things we do is reaching forward overhead right but we don't do this so for example um, if you're doing jujitsu it's a lot of awkward movements there's different positions that you necessarily are not in um, throughout the course of a day or just you know it's, it's not a comp they're, they're not common positions to be in so you know you can be on the floor someone can have your arm this way you want to be ready for that you want the tissues in the front you want the, the joint of the shoulder the shoulder joint to be strong enough to handle the force or the load that's being brought, brought upon it so that if something happens one either you don't get injured or two that the injury is not as bad as it could have been so meaning if you have a tear it could be a part you know a very small tear partial tear grade one something like that as opposed to ripping it all off or having a full tear or needing surgery so that's the whole premise of doing this um, i'm going to do a video on cars i will put that up next sunday and it's going to be a full video head to toe i recommend that you do these every morning or every day not I mean, you don't i would recommend doing them in the morning but at least try to get them in so that you can make your body aware of these ranges of motion because right now everybody's still home we're still sitting we're probably sitting in positions for long periods of time there's no bad position there's no um 
bad sitting position or bad posture. What's bad is when you sit or you maintain a certain posture for a long period of time, then your body becomes accustomed to that posture and it, and it starts to um, delete other movements, meaning as if you know, if you're here all the time and you're in flexion, then your body doesn't need, or your brain doesn't need any room for extension. It does, it's thinking that, okay, I'm gonna spend the majority of my time here. Well, why do I need this for? I'm not, I'm not standing upright. I'm not uh, using extension. And so it will get rid of it. It will get rid of that range of motion because your body wants to preserve energy. And so if it's not, if it doesn't need to use it, it will lose it. Um, I hope this helps with shoulder impingement. Try it out. It's something that you're gonna probably have to do on a daily basis just to get everything open. Um, as long as you're not experiencing any sharp shooting pain or numbness or tingling, this should be helpful to you as always. Vessels, blessings, and peace.